Yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I, I'm used to going on DZ Dog streams where I, I just make all of these uh, anti-Semitic and um, suicide references, and it, it makes him uncomfortable, but he, he thinks it's funny. Of course, the joke of doing well, that good. on there is that his channel is so much different than me doing that, uh, so the established audience doesn't expect it, and it's sort of a shock factor to it. They had this weird, weird kid doing this stuff on here, mm. um, but it, you know, it's a troll thing. But it, it's it's sort of strange to do that anywhere else. You know, it, it's a dynamic that works specifically for him. But I I really like me and DZ Dog's mm. dynamic. Yeah. We we have a good we have a good thing going with those live streams. Yeah, from what I've heard, it all sounds pretty on point. There's a, there's, there's definitely chemistry there. There's, yeah. there's, there's emotional connection and shit, and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a, a cool guy. I I recommend. Oh man, my cat's meowing for something. He just does this, by the way. Like, I I'll give him food, I'll <coughs> give him attention, and he just does that. Like that, I I don't know what he wants. Um, yeah. And, and I definitely give Kill him affection, pets. you know. Never it's, a mistake. I just don't understand what he wants. He just sits there and meows for long amounts of time. And and it sounds like he's crying too when he does it because he, pets. It's like he's squealing. Pets are a mistake and uh, are tools of those of weak mental constitution. Yeah. I, I mean, I definitely love pets. I, I uh, disagree with them on a moral level. But it's it, they, they can be they can be problematic sometimes, and it's fun to uh, you know hype it up and be. I, like, I oh, hate man, I hate them. Misanthropy, screw pets, and all that. It's a good meme, but you know I I really like pets quite a bit. Um, it's but they can be you know. I legitimately I look yeah. That's that's fair. I, I legitimately don't like animals, and I, I, I'm, I have seen no problem with their dying. It's really, it's okay. a problem for, for other people, hmm. and I think it, it's fine, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's just I, an I animal. Feel, it's a dumb I animal. I, I, I can look at that animal's brain in a diagram and figure out how much less of a creature that is. Yeah, but like... That's fine. I, I can feel too much of an yeah. emotional connection to, to animals. Like, if something dies, I'm going to feel bad about it. I, I'm going to sit there and think, wow, this this thing this thing is dead. What, what does that mean? Um, and it, I, I'm going to just feel bad that, that something lost a life, even if it's not very smart, you know? It's, I don't know, it, maybe... It's, it's yeah, I weird. use... I, I know. I, I, I get it. There was a time in my life when I sort of felt that way. Then I uh, started stabbing spiders with knives and cracking them with my bare hands when a knife wasn't convenient. So, you know, you, 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 your feelings change on this kind of stuff. I mean, probably, probably shouldn't try to change in my direction. My direction's pretty, you know, psychotic. But, you know, that's fine. Yeah. Sometimes your feelings change and you end up becoming a, a, a psychopath who feels no empathy towards animals. That's like a, a symptom of, you know, of, 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 prob of problems all the time. Like, how I, I doesn't, like, feel like empathy for small animals and stuff dying. Yeah, I, like, I that's mean, what, I, that, that's okay. I would that's argue fine. that's Too more funny. of a normal thing than, than you think. Maybe not the as dramatic of a shift from it, assuming how uh, just assuming that it that it was a dramatic shift i don't i don't know what what you up to but like that's actually not very n abnormal of a thing there's quite a few people who you know they'll they'll be like i feel you man i feel bad that this happened to you because you care about it but like they they won't um you know they'll feel a connection to the person being upset about it but they won't actually um themselves be upset about an animal dying um which is, I mean, you know, that's that's fine. It's it's not really as abnormal as as like, I don't know what what they are, Antifa animal activists, whoever they are, make it out to be. Now, uh, I mean, Peter, right? They're the they're the guys. They're oh the meme God, team. I, I hate Peter. I hate Peter so much. But this isn't a political show. They're, um, they they'll kill your dog to save your dog. Yeah, it's it's terrible. 
They're, they're not good. They'll f- kill your dog to theoretically save dogs, <laughs> but actually just make money. They're, 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 a cult, they're a cult slash money-making scheme, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, and don't complain when they kill your dog. When they steal your dog and then kill it. Yeah. It's, uh, the PETA was a mistake. It's fine, don't worry. Subscribe. <laughs> well, I mean, to... the PETA is working out well for their own endeavors, but you know. Yeah. It's, uh, just, just leave it up to the free market. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey, okay. No problems here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a libertarian okay. show. That's fine. Am, That's I am fine. I'm so libertarian right now. There's <laughs> no one more neoliberal than than me. <laughs> Fuck politics, but you know that's okay. <laughs> it's, 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 they're all shit, but hey, everything's fine. Everything's fine because I think I figured out how to how to convert this audio track into a fucking into a, this this the. It is the commentary, the George Lucas commentary track of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, that I'm packing, ripping from the disc into, using VLC, into an uh, .og Vorbis file, or ODG Vorbis file, because Mr. Cynical wanted it. Oh, wow. That's, that's, so, that's yeah. quite good. I need to talk to Mr. Cynical more. He's, he's such a cool guy. <coughs> I love that guy. Me too. He was, um... As was highlighted by the, uh, recent drama that he was involved in, lacks social grace, but he is a very cool person. Mm, yeah. Hey, we gotta, we gotta release the, the trial of Mr. Cynical for three hours and forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Only it wasn't really a trial, because we were all on his side. It's more the, the, the attempt at PR for Mr. Cynical, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I was staunchly on his side, even if the rape allegations were true, which, I mean, obviously it's not, but, like, it, it, whether it's true or not, I'm still going to be staunchly on his side, because he's just cool. Yeah, exactly, that's the thing. I mean, this plays into old Magus law, as established in previous streamcasts of, I do not care what you've done if you're a cool person. Uh, it goes back to me respecting fucking Nazis, if they're cool people. Yeah, yeah it's whatever. Which... <laughs> Mr. Cynical could be a mass murderer, and repeat sex offender, I wouldn't mind. He's made a cool YouTube video. He made, like, five cool YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, the, he didn't I mean, kill me or anyone I know, so whatever. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing it would do for me is just uh, justify me hating his philosophy, but other than that, it, it would be like, uh, yeah, who... Who cares? It, it, it's it. It doesn't really matter. I I condemn it, obviously, but it, it it you know it's it it doesn't matter. You know, I I don't know. It's because I like yeah. I was talking to Ray, not to dox him or anything, but he was uh you know he was like, oh man, I would never talk to a rapist because they're evil. But I mean, yeah, but it's I don't know. It, it, to say that that rapists are all evil this is gonna make me sound bad probably but it's like i i want to to figure <laughs> i want to figure them out more and sort of understand what's going on through their head because i know there's there's more there it's it's it can't be that black and white uh, obviously what they did was bad but it, they're still a human yeah, being. Look- yeah, exactly. Everyone's a human, and life is compli- complicated. Don't fucking, don't fucking put people into the boxes of, oh, they've done X action, therefore I don't have to respect them as a human being anymore. That's what people want. They want to say, because it's, it's hard to hate people. It's easy to hate things that aren't people. So just come up with these definitions and say, okay, you've done X, you were X, you believe X, therefore you are not a person, therefore it's okay for me to hate you, because hate is fun. Yeah. And uh, can be used to gain social leverage. For no, I hate this bad group. Oh, oh, look, it's popular to hate this bad group. Therefore, I'm now a more good person because I hate bad people. Uh, I, I mean, I am definitely. It's all shitty in politics. Of, it's all uh, politics all the way down. Of of massive genocide, but um, still, you know, you can't just say X Collective is all bad. And I I'm I actually unironically in support of mass genocide, but uh. It's like, you, you can't just say, 
um, uh, all collective, all of this collective is bad. Oh, all capitalists are bad, or or anything like that. No, that that's retarded. Hmm. That's that's literally retarded. It. They're people. All they. They're people just like you. They just went through a different life that led them to a different place and maybe started off with some numbers. We've just a bit. Yeah, exactly. It's all on the same type of character sheets. Yeah. You know, I, I think if... Uh, uh, just to get into, like, a mildly political thing, I think a lot of these people who are like, you know, proletarian rule, you know, uh, screw the capitalists, I'm gonna punch them if I see them. You know, without all of that vitriol from politics, I think those people would probably go out to a bar with one another and get along all right. It's yeah. Like, it's like it's, making friends with people is easy. Just learn about them. As long as they're not lame, boring spurs, then it's, you can. everyone's a cool, can be a cool person once you get to know why they do what they do. Yeah, but, as long uh, as you're not weaning. People don't want that, because that's hard. Hating is easy. Yeah. You know, th I mean, uh, not to bully Wiener, but there there are people like that who who just la who lack the social... who are in such a way... Like, I've been friends with some... So I call out fucking old real-life friends. I've been friends with, like, people like that in real life who just... They, they just don't know how to interact, and they're just... It, it's really just... Like, in talking to them is just not fun or good. Like, the only way to have an interesting conversation is they shut up and let's, they let you talk at them. That's the only way you can derive any <laughs> enjoyment from an interaction with them. Yeah, I, 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 I was I was friends with a particular guy like that for a long time, and it was a real nightmare, but... Uh, yeah, I, I know that. And, you know, like, even people like that, you can't... You can fix them. Over the, like, years I was this guy's friend, I made him much better... But he still wasn't good. Like, if I'd have spent another five years trying, I probably could have made this person a cool person. But it ju it's just not worth the effort in some cases. But yeah, I mean, you can't people don't want to put in any effort because it takes no effort at all to just say. Exactly. Yeah, life's too short to make everyone who's a dork a cool person. And uh, but you know, it's but most people are decent. That the. People like that guy aren't the average. They're outliers. Most people, for the average is decent, pretty good, cool. Uh, but it, it's it's a bit of work to, to get along with that. It's no work at all to just say, they're part of the art group, therefore I hate them. Yeah, for me, um, when it comes to... Because sort of they are people, in because they believe something different. Yeah, when it, when it comes to sort of boring people who are just sort of average. I don't really mind it because this is a social interaction and it's, I'm going to make the best out of this because it gives me energy. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I... Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, some... some... I, I have lots of uh, circles oh, of, of, uh, of friends the who uh, of whom I, I don't really care too much for but just because they are people that i can interact with i i get energy from it you know i i derive a sense of goodness or satisfaction from it but i certainly place more value on you know talking to someone like you or mr cynical or weeb trash productions because you're infinitely more interesting than those other people you know if i had to choose over uh, the the choice would be obvious but um, because they're people to fill time with, and because I like interaction so much, it, it they're they're just sort of there. Um, and sometimes there is, you know, legitimately interesting tidbits of like I'm trying to understand um, what who this person is and these different psychological things about them. Because my end goal, uh, a lot of the time, is just to understand these things about people, and that uh, it fascinates me a lot of the time. So I mean, I have that which makes things a little bit more bearable, but at the same time, I, I'd rather spend time with someone who's more interesting. Hmm, yeah, yeah, I, and that, that was sort of, uh, that was, that was sort of a thing for me for a while, just learning to be able to say, okay, these people aren't worth it, you need to disconnect, you, there are cooler people, you know, that was like a big thing for me, <coughs> with talking, like talking about sort of friends type thing, it's, uh, like like making making cool friends and realizing that there are 
there are enough people who are cool enough and you, you can raise your standards. You don't have to put up with shit this bad, you know? Yeah. Um, and I mean, sometimes I yeah, lock myself a... in a bit of a box with these things where if it's someone who I know is going through something or I know they're having problems in their life, I, I will just be there for them anyway, even though it probably makes me feel unpleasant because I don't like that they're suffering. Mm, yeah, yeah, that, that's an odd thing. You don't want to you don't want to get into a situation where you're people may you're acting as someone's counselor and you're not getting anything from it. But a part of their heartache, that's not a good place to be. Uh, I don't know about that because I I feel like I I derive a sense. I mean, it can pride. it can be a good place to be. Yeah, I know that is, that's why. Like when you're there's there's some places where yeah, that can be enjoyable. There can be a strange catharsis to it. But there can there are times when it's good. If you but there are times when it is. As I said, only you're getting the bad part of it. You need to be able to make that distinction and say and be willing to cut losses when it goes into that territory. Yeah. Um. And I, I mean, sometimes there is a, an emotional connection derived from that. I mean, not always, but uh, that you've, you've ended up growing something more of a, oh, this person isn't so boring after all, or, you know, we can talk about this thing, or, it, it, you know, it's really a nuanced thing. It, 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 it depends. Yeah, yeah, everything is nuanced. There's no... There's no situation where you can put it down to some neat little quote that will always fuck with you. Everything is nuanced and complicated and nothing is ever simple. Yeah. Um, which is why I don't like making yeah. broad statements about most things. Because I feel like whenever I do that, I, I make myself look like a, a gigantic idiot. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's, it's a thing that should be done best for our self referential jokes or character building. But, you know. Yeah. Don't don't do it if you're trying to be a cool good person, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a tool if you want to sound smart to people who are dumb, but uh, that isn't hard. Yeah, that I I do that all the time, just just so people are like, wow, outlaw, you're you're so cool. But I in in reality, I know. Okay, I'm arguing a stance I don't actually believe for the sake of arguing it. Not because these people will agree with it, just because it will impress them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's oh god, that's it, it's it's a bad place to be. Uh, I I don't know. Someone I, who's I tend... gone real far in that direction, it's real bad. I I tend to enjoy arguing stances I don't actually agree with, uh, because it's 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 you get into the headspace of the person who is arguing it, which is ultimately I think a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that that's fair, but I don't know. There are better ways to get into to empathize with people than uh, having a fight about it in other people. It's just uh, becomes a shitty clusterfuck. I don't know. Yeah, I I feel like with people in real life, I'm less likely to actually get into fights with them because I've figured out a way to um, because the people obviously the people I'm around are you know pretty pretty young like I am. Um, I, I've sort of figured out a way to get them on some level on my side to where things aren't just vitriolic name calling, um, which I mean they're it studied methods into doing that. that you look up and whatnot. I'm sure you already know. Uh, so it, yeah, like it's 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 a, a thing where if if you can get the other person somewhat on your side, it's usually fine. Where it's not a name calling thing, but it, it depends on who you're talking to. Where if you know, the person is particularly emotional, or uh, more likely, if I'm not handling myself well, um, and if the, you know, like I said, maybe the person's a bit older, uh, and the things are more complicated or, or different, it's it's a bit harder, you know? The stuff that's going to work on a child, yeah. like I do in my real life, is not going to necessarily work on <coughs> aged people on the internet. Yeah, that's that's not a thing. Oh, God. I I and I hate that sort of. I don't know, like doing it myself. Like I, it's fine when people do it, but but when doing that sort of like thing where where you're using tricks like that, when you're meta gaming real life conversations, that always just makes me feel depressed because it's just a case of sliding further into weird solipsism. 
Yeah. I, when I, you realize you can metagame other human beings, then it, it, it life becomes a bit horrifying for there. Yeah. I, I don't think that, that depresses me. I, I think that makes me feel a sense of pride. So, yeah, when I do that. Just, uh, there was a time when I felt that way, and now it's just a case of it's, it's just a case of wow, everyone really is a meat machine, and <laughs> you, you're just playing with the factors. That the idea of these people being people is an illusion that we all collectively are <laughs> afflicted with. Mm, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I don't think I ever take it that far because I, it's not like I'm completely disingenuous uh, or anything like that, um, but. I, I used to be, like, I, I think I used to be, like, a near-pathological liar about a lot of things. Um, because, uh, when I was really young, I would just be punished for telling the truth a lot of the time. And it's like, I, well, I can get more things from lying than if I don't lie, so I'd rather lie. And as I've, as I've gotten older, I've, uh, yeah. you know, become much more of an honest person. I think most people I know can attest to this. But, um, when it... Uh, sometimes I, I sort of fall back into that mindset because I don't know if it ever truly goes away because that's how you've grown up. That's part of the way you think. Um, yeah. But it can be treated. I mean, well, it's part of a way of life. Yeah, I mean, well, that, that, is, that, that case in particular is part of just life. Like, lying is a thing you sort of have to do at times or it's, where telling the truth is always, there's always going to be situations where being honest is just going to fuck you. You know, and yeah. it's it's better and easier or more efficient. The, the the best way to get to the ends you want is just to lie. Hmm. I, I, I mean, with me, it's, uh, I don't have too many, like, uh, go too far, hot so. takes. I don't have too many, like, brutal, harsh opinions because I, you know, I'm pretty compensating for people because that, that is just the way I am. So it's it's not like I'm negating the real opinions I have for the sake of politeness. It's more like I think inherently polite on a lot of issues. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah it's, it's all a pain. You just get... <coughs> it's, it, there, there's probably a way to, to, to make this all work. I don't fucking know what's going on. Yeah. All, all I know how to do is convert audio tracks from DVDs into uh, fucking audio files in VLC. That's all I'm good for. Just ask me to do that, please. I can yeah. deal with VLC. I can't deal with all these people. I can I can handle VLC. VLC, VLC makes sense <laughs> for me. I can deal with this very large cone. I can't deal with all these very complicated people. Yeah, I I, I would I my the the extent of my intelligence is probably just interpersonal relationships with. With most other things, I think I'm a gigantic idiot. I I think most people who talk to me, even though I say like, oh, I'm a genius, oh, I'm a great person or whatever. Yeah, I'm very good at certain things, but with other things, I'm just, I I'm not I'm not too good at most things. I'm not completely self-aware or anything like that. There's a lot of self-awareness things that I think about a lot that I think I could do better on, or that ways of improving myself that I think I could do better on, or most things like that. Um, but interpersonal relationships is something that I've gotten down in most part in terms of real life on, on the internet it's a bit more of a problem that I'm learning how to do things so it's you know again it, it's not like I'm perfect with that either so what what am I good at what is outlaw harvest good at outlaw harvest I I've concluded is nowhere near as smart as he presents himself as he's just a silly teenager who's pseudo intellectual who's probably have a lot more things to learn yeah yeah that's i mean that that's that's a big part of maturity realizing that you don't know the full picture and that it's all very complicated and is that yeah it's it's it, humility humility is is an important thing or something that, that that's that i guess that's my angle is that self-awareness or is that humility <coughs> Hmm? So you cut out there? Oh, I said, is it's that self-awareness or is that humility? Or do those two intersect? Uh, there's there's crossover, certainly, at least by my interpretations of them. It's a case of being humble enough to realize that you don't, you're not sure that self-awareness is inherently self-limiting, because you, you can only be as self, you, you can only 
judge how self aware you are from the perspective of how self aware you are if you get what I'm saying. I the, see. Words don't quite align with the point I'm trying to make here. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I I get it. Like you can't say you can't say that I am self uh, I am very self aware because you could be not self aware and because you're not self aware you think you're self aware. It would be like the fabric sense that in one direction. Yeah, I but I, I mean you could be self aware of the fact that you are self aware because the the fact that you're thinking about self awareness is in itself self aware because you're thinking about oh am I doing this thing and if you and if you uh you know go through the process of realizing okay I did this thing and I realize this thing it's it's true you know the fact that you're thinking about those things at all is to a degree self aware so I wouldn't throw out that idea all the way that's 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 a point but the other thing is you, there's there's a factor I don't I'm, there, I'm not sure the words this is people lot most people don't know what is good they they can't judge things this is a thing I've I've come to realize like that's why like for, like people on YouTube can get away with doing their like schlocky obvious basic shit content because most people just can't think of they can't make judgments on if things are good or not and that's a, that that's a fact like the fact that you can you can you can look at a thing and say this is good this is not good and and be like roughly right about that or understand why you have that opinion it puts you above like most people which is a weird horrifying thing as go get back into this whole solipsistic nightmare world so. oh i mean see the thing about that is uh, saying something is good does not make you like more right or a better person because obviously my tastes and podcasts are against the the consensus but i i personally enjoy that um but if i were to explain like with but i mean you could okay so you could... Wait, wait, go on i mean yeah, well you can do that you can explain about that and people can get it they may not agree with it but they can understand that most like people by and large they can't do that like the other things of i liked that but they'll either be like that their their opinions are just so basic so like wrong and they just can't explain it just i like it because i like it they, they can't think any deeper i mean maybe they can but they just they haven't practiced enough because their life has gone in such a way where they never needed to learn the any level of introspection you know yeah, and they I, just they just can't they they can't or they can't put it into words they can't convey it at all. Yeah, I I kind of get where you're coming from there with, um, you know, some people they say they like something but they don't actually like it. They they just sort of have a, an idea of, oh yeah, yeah I sort of like that thing. But if they reflected on it, uh, even in the slightest, they would realize I didn't actually like that thing. Um, so there is that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but. Actually, figuring out why something is good in your, you know, subjective mind or whatever, is very hard to do. That is a skill. Uh, like the Plinket reviews, for example. Uh, everyone said the movie was bad because of Jar Jar, but there was all these really deep reasons as to why the Star Wars prequels were bad. Um, but people didn't get it because they didn't know how to explain those things, so they needed Mr. Plinket to explain it for them. Or, you know, someone like Mr. B-Tong who can very eloquently, intellectually explain these things. Um, uh, but most people, they just can't. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> it's, 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 it's a struggle of a dead outlaw or something, but it's, I don't know. Yeah. Cutting out. Shit's fucked. People are dumb. No, no, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, am I? Am I this is this, this, this technical difficulties. So Are we good? Oh no. We're fine. No, you're you're, you're feeling okay. Of, you sound you sound fine. It's much better than on Discord where you just sound like a uh, sound like a robot. On Skype, the low fineness there there's two types of lo-fi for Magos on Discord versus Skype. On Discord, you have a much clearer sounding audio, but it cuts out like a robot, and that roboting sound gets annoying quick. I was kind of into it at first, but now it just makes me mad. Um, but when it when it comes to the Skype sound, you sort of have this almost muffled sound where you can still completely tell what you're saying, but you sound uh, almost like old internet. But you're not cutting out in an electronic way, which the the dichotomy of aesthetics there is very good. 
Okay, that's that's nice. That's good to know. But uh, yeah, that that's yeah. that's cool. I, I <laughs> glad imagine... we've glad we've got a system that's roughly working. Yeah, I, I would imagine where the where, where that stems from is um, uh, from Skype uh, focusing less on audio quality because on Skype the audio quality is noticeably worse than Discord because Discord is meant to be this like professional I'm an electronic guy type thing but Skype is more of a personal use thing so there's less emphasis on making your audio sound the best it possibly can over the internet because the technology is there to do that Skype just doesn't have it um, so it sounds a bit more like a relic from old internet which I quite like with my aesthetic tastes yeah yeah it's it's good there's it's it's certainly more bearable on the discord way of why it fucks up oh boy why, why aren't there better chords over that ocean? <laughs> why aren't there just better chords all over? I need better chords, better cables. Yeah, I, I can't wait until I until I yeah. move to Norway because I'll have better internet. Uh, gotta gotta restart mm. the Dreamcast now because I got I got stuck on a level. Let's play a different game. Let's let's cut. I'm gonna cut here. And then I'm going to play a different video game. Oh boy. How exciting. That, that, that was some pretty good discussion we got in there. I, I like that quite a bit. That was. That was. That was like a natural conversation. That felt, that felt like the good parts of a roughly structured podcast by and large. There are a few elements of the pseudo dead air of, try, of try, yeah, getting the bits of just trying to fill air with self loathing type shit and pain you know, but uh otherwise most of that was pretty good or at least yeah. a good few chunks of it were pretty good yeah um and i'm i'm gonna edit it yeah. later but like i've still got topics that i wrote down that i didn't even touch upon so that's that's really nice um outlaw harvest is finally yeah, making this, this good was, that's... podcasts that's what I'm talking. That's what I was talking about with the structure stuff. I don't mean like planned out, like just like sort of you just have this basic layer to, okay, here are topics that we can move on to. Like when things get slowed down, here's the next thing. You know, like that's what I do. Like for uh, nobody's on the newsphere, which is it's, it's a great podcast. Those things like that. Actually, nobody's on the newsphere is brilliant and uh, shame that it's dead for now for a bit. Not sure if it's going to come back ever. Because it just, it's, it's got the spirit. It's natural, it's very natural, because none of it's planned out exactly just a case of, okay, before we do it, we'll have a 10 minute conversation of figuring out, like, what segments are we going to do and in what order are we going to do them. So we can go on to, so we can talk about a thing, and when that runs out, we can just, okay, on to the next one now. And yeah. we, we can restart, we can fill up the, the juices again. And keeps yeah. things flowing, you don't end up in a shitty situation where it's just self-loathing and dying and trying to fill up fuck the radio and it's bad yeah, it, it should have a, uh, a level of uh, can you hear me still right yeah you're slightly distant outlaw it's fine yeah i i'm getting the dreamcast game from the little shelf thing um but like let's see what Boy. was i gonna say yeah, it's a, a thing of having a mild structure of like, okay, these are the things that are a, a springboard of conversations. These are these are the things that are going to get us started, and then because we already have a plan, or not a plan dynamic, but a, an established dynamic, we can just work from there, and then the, the content is good. Um, exactly. But if you just go into it blind, uh, maybe there, there's some good stuff out of that. And I think with the whole Discord calls thing, there's a certain historical aesthetic it has that I like, that I've explained before. But, you know, I, I'm really getting behind this whole planned vibe. Like, I finally get what you mean by planned. Yeah. I, I mean, like, the 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 stuff, like, totally unplanned stuff can go up, but it's down to luck, you know? It's a case of will you be fortunate and will like your conversations always lead to new stuff because that can happen you can be in a conversation where it's just constantly needing new stuff like in my that the the five hour fucking uh conversation i had with mr cynical that one time 
like that was like that works it was constantly we're talking about things and then the things would lead to new things you know that works but, but if you don't have things that you can just it, you can run to things and if you're on a podcast you can't stop gotta keep going gotta keep thinking out so it's just gets oh now we're now we're just trying to figure out something trying to think of topics is the worst conversation it doesn't work it's bad that's why it's fucking the <coughs> so shit's fucked but, uh, yeah it, it shows the but that's why this, the, the, the little bit of structure yeah yeah that's why you need the skeleton that's what that's what it is it's it's not it's you, you ain't building all parts you're just getting the skeleton so you can just fill it all in you know yeah yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm playing Worms Perhaps. Armageddon now. Oh boy. Yeah, let's. let's Are we recording that. again? What what what's going on? Yeah, I I've been well. MP3 Skype recorder has been recording the <laughs> conversation the whole time, but I, I already started the VHS tape because I had to change out VHS tapes. Um, but in order for MP3 Skype recorder to restart the recording, I'm gonna have to stop the recording and then start it back up. Or stop the call and then start it back up. Okay. 